What's up guys, Dustin here, and I'm doing another Star Trek Creo review, and this time, it's the, the big girl herself, the USS Enterprise, NCC-1701. It's a whopping 432 pieces. Whoops, sorry about that. Let's give you a... Before we get to the creels, let's do a, do a 360 first. Here's the back. Side. Whoops. Front. The top. And finally, if I can get her up, one hand. bottom this ship was huge and it took me a very long time to build it so before we get onto it let's take a look at the crayons and it's to get two specialists they don't have a name they're just specialists I can't get them to focus. I don't know what's up. That's about as good as I can get. I'm sorry if I can't get them to focus and everything. This one has much of a growly in your face. And they both come with a phaser. I have them up on a upholstery. And for the other that reviewed it, there's a there's a peg on the side of the phasers where you can actually put them right right on the side of their legs to act like a upholstery. Kinda like a police officer with his gun. This one anger face, brown hair. And this one growly with the Draco Malfoy blonde hair. And they're and it comes with Kirk Spock and the toy, but they're inside, so let's go ahead. Take it take this off. And here's the gang. Everyone everyone is in their assigned positions. Sulu Scotty does not come in. They come separately. Let's take a look at it. Captain James Tiberius Kirk. I know I can't get them to focus very well, but you there's a photo gallery at the bottom for a more much more in-depth review. He has on his gold uniform. Compared much to the Sulu one, his is yellow, this one's much more gold. And he comes with a phaser. And his hair is made of hard plastic. He has much more of a uh, edgy face. <laughs> so let's put him back into his assigned seat. Of course, since he is the captain, he gets to sit right here. We have Dr. Bones McCoy, well, Dr. Le Leonard McCoy, nicknamed Bones. He comes with a tricorder, and he has, a, he has on a blue size uniform, no back printing. Just like I said, if I, if I can't get them to focus very well, can't get this camera to focus very well, there is a link at the bottom will take you to a photo gallery much better and here is Mr. Spock the Vulcan Spock now I know you're thinking didn't you already take a look at this character the difference is this is actually his uniform on the Enterprise and the best part 
It's box ears. There's rubber. He looks like a beetle. So, yeah, so. He also comes with a phaser. Boom, boom, boom. Now, let's take a look at the interior of the bridge but let me point out a few flaws first Creo does not have that much clickness so if I try putting it together it's going to come back up any, any half so if you know how to fix it let me know in the comments box and this also will do the same as well so that's some flaws and the this happened on a separate occasion this top does not like to stay on but I don't blame them let's take a look back here you got two panels and just random stickers of course is the back this is more like a much more your communications hailing things like that up here at the helm this is where actually a pilot was sitting this is your navigator I know I don't have checkoff, but don't hit me in the comments box about why you don't have checkoff, why you don't have checkoff, why am I that? Problem is, I don't have them. Hold on. Oh, man. I hadn't been feeling good lately, so bear with me. A flat screen or a monitor or a view screen this is what they would actually look out into when traveling and through space and in order to get this on you need to have all your characters sitting down and this down oops all right Let's see if I can there we go in order to have it down so let's go ahead and do that that click and that clicks very well it's very secure now let's take a look at the end of cells I like the the cells it looks real cool looks very realistic just like the the movie version. Once you open these, you can actually see the inside. I'm going to open them both so you can see. The engine, I believe these are the engines for the nacelles. And, uh, yeah, oops, <laughs> sorry. So let's put them down. And since Hasbro's it's like a hell of a huge toy company, because you want to give the Enterprise some something, so you see this little blue button right here. If you press it, you know what? I'm gonna need to find something to. You know what? Never mind. Press it. And out goes the photon torpedo is what they would call it. So you can actually I can just reload and fire it again. But I'm not gonna fire it again. And if you're everyone wonders what this little red piece back here, that is the impulse engine. I know it's small, it's based off from the Star Trek. 2009 movie and the Into Darkness before they made it much larger. So, enough of that. So, let's take a look at the light tech. There's a button back here where my finger is. If you turn it on, I don't know what the frame rate is going to be. And it looks like the Enterprise is whirring up, like getting ready to go out space prepare to warp and then they turn off so if you press it two times one two they're much brighter 
Now, I don't know what the frame rate is going to be when I upload this, so bear with me. And then they turn off, so if you press it three times. I wore up, and they start flashing. Probably the Enterprise is crippled, shot, or damaged. We got the deflector dish on it. Power outage. So, if we want to see this in dark, let's do it. Here we go. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Her five year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Now, I know it's supposed to be no one, but I was calling it all from the original series. Seth from Cochran. You know, the guy that developed a ship where he was able to go to warp from the first contact movie, so. With lights. Alright, lights out. You can actually see difference. It looks very cool at night. Then we turn it on. Now, well, the, the question is, because I know that the Creo released a Toys R Us exclusive of the of the Starfleet Klingon attack. Alright. And it includes the Enterprise. So what if I bought that but have the but have this USS Enterprise? What should I do? Well to be honest, you can have one displayed. You can actually play with one. Cause the much difference between this one and the other one this one gave you two specialists and the characters Kirk, Spock, and McCoy wear their color uniforms the other version they don't wear they wore they wore like a a Starfleet standard type of uniform probably didn't they didn't have time to change out And it comes with a Klingon bird of prey, which looks real cool. It includes two flick missiles and three Klingons. And there's also a much newer character who got Pavel Chekhov in it and Sulu with a much more improved uniform. So, I like this Enterprise. I love the build of it. Now, if you're wondering this LED light during the build, this whole entire area, the fuselage and the uh, pylon are just one giant so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up if you like this video leave a like comment leave a comment down the description down below check out the photo gallery for much more of a in-depth review if you didn't Thanks for this camera because it didn't focus real well. So, yeah, my name's Dustin. Peace out.